hello and welcome in this video i'm going to be showing you how i use keepers product finder combined with the tracking overview to find a crap ton of used books that we can potentially flip for tasty profits on amazon so part one of this is going to be looking at the product finder so you want to click on the data tab and product finder and the purpose of this video i don't want to go too granular into how product finder works because it might bog beginners down and intermediate sellers alike i know a lot of people don't use this because they get a little bit scared off by all the filters and metrics that you can track here so i want to um, be as basic as possible just to provide the essential info so that you are um, so you can become dangerous enough to take action after this video and start searching for um, really below market value books that you can resell for a profit. So what I like to do is I like to focus on the 180 day average here. I want to look for books that don't sell too slowly. So I'm gonna look for the fastest selling book over the last 180 days and go up to 1.2 million. You can just focus on books maybe in the top 200K if you wanna just focus on fast selling books. Amazon definitely likes it when you sell fast selling books. Or if you want to focus more on a long tail strategy where the profits are potentially higher but the books don't sell as fast, then you can raise this up to maybe 2 million, even 3 million. I've sold books um, in the 6 million ranks before and I've actually sold within 30 days. Um, pretty crazy so you don't want to be too scared off by uh, this figure but I'm just putting the ballpark of 1.2 in because any book between that range is at least going to sell within a couple of months hopefully tops three months depending on the buy price and the competition um, what also going to look at the use price because that's very important isn't it we want to focus on books that have had a historic um, average above 30 bucks really but i'm going to put 50 in here so you want to scroll down to use you want to go to 50 and i'm going to go to 300 there so that it um, filters out any listings that are just chronically high um, and it's actually just a seller put in a book at a thousand bucks it's not worth a thousand bucks at all um, so that's why i'll put it at 300 but you're welcome to put 9999 and you might find some gems in there who knows um, so we've gone for 50 to 300 buck average here and then we've still got an absolute ton of products if as you can see in the bottom right it shows you how many products that this query is going to produce when you click find products that's because we haven't actually filtered down to books yet i'm going to make my head smaller so you can see you better and uh, no one wants to see me anyway uh, we want to go to the root category and we want to go to books if you want to filter this down to just textbooks then you you can totally do that you can type like maths in here science and math and you can put as many as you want or if you want to focus on non-textbooks you can focus on like cooking cookbooks and architecture whatever biographies you can do all of that i want to keep this broad so i'm going to take out the cookbooks and just have it as many as possible so now we've got 35 just under 36,000 results there uh, we also might want to look at used offer count because we don't really want to focus on books that got too many offers because that means lots of competition so maybe over the 180 day average i'm going to go one to say 20 offers but uh, also on the flip side, there are plenty of textbooks that have got like 100 offers that you can buy up in June or July and sell loads of them in August. So don't also don't be scared off by used offers. I want to really show you that this is just one way of doing Product Finder, one way that I like to do it. But myself and the team use plenty of different filters and different searches for this. But I just wanted to just give you the, the, the essential info you need, as I said earlier. So we're going to scroll down. Uh, we don't. You don't really need to worry about any of this unless you really fancy going granular and advanced into it. So I'm not going to be too bothered about publication date because you can sell plenty of books that are 50 years old or two years old. So that's not really a problem. Um, you could filter by release date if you wanted to not focus on any books that have come out in the last year because they're unlikely to be any good used book prices. I haven't actually done that. This is just... Um, come off the top of my head there that might be useful but i'm not going to do it just because i haven't done it yet um sales rank drops this is really useful so we've looked at sales rank 
we've looked at the used price because we want to focus on books that hold their value and have held their value over the last year we also want to focus on books that actually drop in sales rank right because if they drop that means that there's potential price movement if we just focus on books with no drops that's not going to be very useful because we probably won't be able to find any deals and we also there's no point tracking them because it's a waste of an ASIN and an ISBN to track because we're not necessarily going to be able to find them at a good price. There's no point buying something that's not going to drop. So um, over the last 190 days, I'm just going to focus on books that have dropped maybe five times to, let's say, 99. Let's bring that down a bit. That's brought it down from 33K to 24K, which is all good. Also, there's a 10K limit on this. So our, our Keeper will cut off your query over 10K. So I always say that you want to keep your query to 10k and under that's super useful something that's good here is you can untick this box if you want to focus on books that don't have an amazon offer on them there's nothing wrong with selling used books when amazon are on the listing as long as they're on the listing say higher than 30 bucks because anything lower than that you're not really going to be able to get profit unless you're picking these books up for a dollar and if you are doing online arbitrage it's going to be hard to find any books for under uh, five bucks really because obviously shipping is a factor so um, I'm going to untick this just because we're going to get less results so that's brought it down from 24k to 11k so we're getting close to that 10k mark which is good how can we narrow this down further I've not thought this far ahead what I might do is focus on Maybe we'll do some less offers, actually, no. We'll, we'll, we'll focus on another used price. So I know we started on used price here. I think we might go used good as well, just to narrow down this search a bit more, because uh, this used price might have more used acceptable books in it. And as a newbie seller, you might not want to buy as many used acceptable books just because you don't want your customers kicking up a fuss if they get sent um, a book with like a tatty waterlogged smells that sort of stuff so we might we'll narrow this down by looking at all books that the used good average price has been from 550 to 300 that's brought us down to 8300 books i'm going to click find products hopefully my wi-fi holds out it should do because it's only going to show the first 100 rows a little tip that i only found out about recently that a friend of mine told me is that I always got annoyed that when I went back, if I if I went back or if I went to a different tab in Keeper, I would lose this query. But you don't lose it if you click the advanced filter button and go back. It will save all of your current, uh, what you've typed in there. So that can be really useful, a bit of a time saver. I'm going to go back to find products because that's what we're doing. We want to find these products. And also um, in the same vein as the last point, if you do want to save this query the cool thing with keeper is that if you actually save this link or bookmark it on chrome then you've got this query forever and ever if you want to use it so if you find that this sort of search or one similar is getting you loads of good books that you think are going to drop soon and you're going to get a chrome notification when you start tracking them then you can always come back to this at any time so um, you can refresh it and presumably there'll be new books in it as well um, every single book that's got pink marked on it is one that you haven't looked at so I know that this travel cake book I've looked at so I'm either going to be tracking it or not so I'm just going to skip that which makes it even better when you have saved your query it just means that then you know when you're going to find new books and it stops you from looking at books you already have and wasting your time for example let me check this book here I've looked at it and I've I can clearly see, for example, that this book's only been available for 110 days and uh, it's obviously not going to be a good book to track because there's only been a used price since March and it's, it's either higher than the new price or only a little bit less. So this is pointless to look at. I might even go back and change the release date because I did mention that. I said I wasn't going to do it, but I'm going to do it. Crazy, I know. So I'm going to put, I'm going to go right the way back to 1923, January the 1st. And then I want to only focus on books that have been around up to, say, 2021, just to see what that does. Well, only 2,000 
results. Okay, let's change it to 2022. Just to see what that does. Ah, interesting. So that means that 10,000 results are all from the last year. Okay, brief interlude. I just recorded this product finder video and then realized afterwards that the reason that the amount of books that we found went from 8,000 down to 2,000 due to the release date, it didn't really make any sense that we're focusing on books all the way back to 1923 up to last year. Um, that they uh, that we're losing 6,000 results and I think it's because Keeper doesn't necessarily get the release date on a lot of the listings which means that if we to plug this in then we're actually missing out on a lot of books that were published or released sorry between 1923 and 22 so if we get rid of this then we're going to be able to get 8,000 results maybe it will change if we do publication dates let's do publication dates 1923 to 1921 because this might be the same difference oh no that's better okay so don't listen to me do publication date rather than release date probably because keeper doesn't have all the release date info and the release date is not important so just forget about that use publication date because now we've got 7,000 products that are going to be potentially flippable and we are filtering out all the books that have been released or published sorry um in the last year we could change this to 2022 because sometimes you get used books that are a year old and we're getting we've got 500 more results there so that might be a good way or definitely a good way of filtering out books that are going to be pointless looking at because there's not going to be a used book drop on it for at least say six months to a year so back to the rest of the video ciao either way you learn something new every day on keeper product finder don't you you're getting this first so hopefully all 2000 of these books are going to be really good for potential flips so i've already looked at this one here this one i'm already tracking at 26 bucks i'm not really sure why oh probably because it dropped to 24 there maybe this will drop um it's not necessarily a banker but it might do um so for example here I'm not going to look at this one because Amazon's on the listing at 41 and it looks like it hasn't really dropped for a while or it hasn't dropped to a, a resellable profitable price there let's just try and find one that might be good this one could be good because you can see it's dropped to 33 there so it might drop to 33 again and we'll be able to sell it for 75 possibly I'm going to find one that's definitely going to be better than that these comic type books are usually quite good. Wonder Woman, we track a lot one like these. Um, that one could be worth tracking, but I'm not going to. I want to find one that's that drops a lot. Ooh, uh, we've bought books like this before. This one could be good. This one's definitely, oh, actually the new price is at 42, so it might be, a, we'll skip that one. I've looked at this book before. This is definitely a good book already tracking it so this is an example of a good book that's held its value well over the last year you can see it has consistently been the lowest it's been it was 35 there and it's consistently been above there it's currently way higher at 176 bucks so i'm confident if we buy this for 40 bucks or under we're going to be able to resell it for 80 100 maybe even 150 bucks and um, if we find books like this you can see i'm already tr we're already tracking it at 50 bucks so if you aren't tracking it um you 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 won't get this screen so i'm just gonna stop tracking it just to show you what it looks like i'm going to go back in here i'm going to click on food of the gods and then what you want to do when you found a book that you like that looks like it drops and holds its value um you can see that whenever it did drop it, did, it didn't stay at 35 for long it probably sold a few copies there you can see it went the used off account went from nine 
down to five pretty quickly when it was quite low like that which is an indication that that's probably a good price to buy and you can see that it's clearly selling consistently in August last year in September at 70 plus and that's only the used price that's probably the FBM price as well because we're selling FBA we can always get an FBA premium so we can probably sell a hundred bucks there and that's why I'm confident again that this is a good book to track so what I will do you can see that I'm tracking this book for 10 years this is the sort of book that we can definitely track for for a few years because it's already been it's been around for 10 years or keeper has been tracking it for 10 years um, and it's probably held its value for that time it's clearly um, a book that's got like it's like a specialist book that um, sought after it holds its value so what we'll do here is all you need to do is click on the use box here and if we want to track it for 50 bucks I'll put 50 bucks in there and then you press enter or click the button there and you're tracking it which is pretty awesome um and if you far and keeper has a you can track 5000 books with keeper so if you think about it if you do your product finder searches you save them you bookmark them you keep coming back to them and day by day you keep adding books like this um and you say add 50 to 100 a day within one two months you're going to be at that 5000 mark and it's not going to take too long just a little bit of consistency every day and over time you will start getting notifications or emails wherever you want to get your uh, notifications i prefer getting the chrome notifications because they come in the top right hand corner here and um, they are quicker than the emails and often some of the best deals will get snapped up for example if this book dropped to like 20 bucks someone's gonna snap that up in minutes if not seconds so you want to make sure you're on a screen with Chrome notifications on um, but I hope this all makes sense that if you can find uh, 5,000 high quality ASINs that hold their value but also drop in value at certain times of the year all you need is 1% of that 5,000 to drop every day and you've got 50 potential um, book profitable flips on your hands um, which is super powerful we've been using this for five years you can see here on my tracking overview that we've got we're tracking 4240 because I've been uh, deleting quite a few of our dud ones and re reintroducing better ones uh, recently um, and we're getting lots of emails and Chrome notifications each day uh, that the team are buying up so this is a super useful sourcing tool to find great uh, books which are valuable um, and it's only 19 euros a month or 25 bucks in the, if you're in the US and also you can save 20% um, on your Keeper subscription if you pay for it yearly. I envisage myself to be using Keeper for sure for the next year, probably for years in advance, so I don't see a problem with uh, stumping up the cash for that yearly membership. But yeah, that's the video. Wanted to keep it simple. Hope that all made sense. Hope you understand a little bit more about how Keeper Product Finder works. I'll probably do another video on it because there's so many more things that you can go into, but hopefully I gave you the basics there um, to be dangerous enough to then go and buy or we'll track some books and hopefully get some notifications in your inbox so that you can buy um, some books for anywhere from 20 to 50 bucks plus and resell them for 100 plus um, that's the hope anyway uh, I've been doing this for the last five years and it's still going strong it's not changed much um, so I do think Keeper Product Finder combined with the tracking overview still got plenty of legs in it uh, for the long haul uh, because we are buying wide not deep and it's super super useful and potentially profitable so um, if you liked the video please like it comment subscribe um, and if you've got any questions pop them in the comments and I can hopefully uh, give you some give you some answers so yeah thanks for watching and ciao for now.